I can't hold these reporters back anymore. It's time for another two minute tech tip. Welcome, my name is Frank Nymphius and I'm from the Oracle Digital Assistant product management team. In these two minutes, I want to talk about the WebView feature in Oracle Digital Assistant that allows you to integrate locally or remotely deployed web applications in your bot conversations. You use this to display UI widgets that don't exist on the conversational channel, like a calendar, or to allow users to provide structured data input the easy way. So let's have a look at the demo. Here I have a travel application. So I select departing city, the date when I want to leave, and the destination. Then the system asked me to open up the external web application to complete the booking. And when the form loads, then you see that all of the information I provided before in the bot is already contained. So let's change it here, go to San Francisco, and then select the return date and change the destination to Paris, just kind of reversing the previous booking. When I press submit, and this information now gets written back into the bot conversation. Now, how does it work? So in Oracle Digital Assistant for a skill, I can register a web application, remote or local deployed. Now in this case, it's a locally deployed web application, which you can tell from the TGZ package file. It's an Oracle Jet application that displayed the forms that you just saw. In the dialogue flow then, I do have a state that holds a system web view component. And this system web view component has a property called service, which references, in my case, Oracle Travel Web to launch the web application. It also has a source variable list property that allows you to pass information from the bot into your web application that you call. And it has a variable property, and this variable property will receive all of the information that is returned from the web application. Now, the web application only has to look into the input parameters that are automatically passed from the bot. Now, this contains input parameter values, but also a callback URL to call, which would then allow the application to send information back to the bot and the bot then to take over control again. Was that a good tip? This is like a dream I've had. We want your opinion. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.